Mary Jane Watson, Associate Editor. Begin research notes. What started as a museum heist a few days ago has turned into a brutal assault on the city, and the casualties keep piling up. Last night, after almost killing Magia Don Hammerhead, Captain Yuri Watanabe was forced into administrative leave. Sources say she told the chief, this won't stop me. Note, follow up on this later. Feels like this isn't the end of her story. Meanwhile, Hammerhead, who was pronounced dead at the scene, was revived and escaped custody. Police are searching for him, but there are no solid leads. His men are continuing to target Sable weaponry and vehicles, including something called Project Olympus. From what we can gather, Project Olympus is an Oscorp and Sable-funded initiative. Bio-enhancement technology meant to transform people into indestructible super-soldiers. Hammerhead is ruthless and insane, and now apparently indestructible. <sighs> but first things first, figure out where Hammerhead is hiding. The question is, what are we gonna do when we find him? Hey, MJ. I'm following the police to an Oscorp plant. Sounds like Hammerhead's guys are at it again. Got any updates on Yuri? Nothing yet. You miss her, don't you? Yeah. We were a good team. I mean, not like me and you, but, you know. I know. So listen, I've got a source at Oscorp. They're ramping up production of this Project Olympus equipment, which is probably why Hammerhead's men are attacking that plant. The Olympus contract is for Sable International, part of a deal she made with Osborne during the Devil's Breath Crisis. And I just learned it's all supposed to be shipping overseas to Simcaria. Simcaria? Silver Sable's home country. And also the site of an increasingly bloody civil war. Have you heard about this? No, I'm not really caught up on international news. Been a little busy with our own war here in New York. It's a hell of a story. I'll fill you in when we have more time. Yeah. It'd be nice to talk about something other than Hammerhead for a while. What do you think about taking a vacation when all this is over? Vacation? I'm not sure I know what that word means. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. But seriously, we both need it. I'll start doing some planning. Let me know what happens to that Oscorp plant. Will do. Dance off? I love those! It's my turn! This new armor is cool and all, but I kinda miss seeing your desperate attempts at 70s gangster fashion! You guys get right to the point, don't you? So are you guys all friends outside of work, or just co-workers? You know, maybe your whole organization has gotten too big too fast. You might not even know each other! If that's the case, let me introduce you. Vinny, this is Vinny. Vinny, Vinny. Why is nobody laughing? Wait, maybe you're not laughing because you guys really are all named Vinny. If that's the case, nice to meet you, Vinny. And Vinny. And all you other Vinnies.
on, Spider-Man! Let's play Save the Pigs. Well, that's just rude. <laughs> Jetpack guy does not have good intentions. Oh, hello, ambush guys. Where'd your buddy go? No one's talking, huh? Maybe you just can't hear me over the sound of those jetpacks. Cool jetpacks, guys. Where do I get one? Let me guess. You fell off the back of a truck, right? You know, instead of stealing everything, you guys should try making your own stuff. It's much more emotionally rewarding. Maybe you wouldn't be so angry all the time. a regular dare or a double dog dare? Is that yours? No. But it would be so awesome if it was. You okay? Yeah. Long time no see. Who do you work for? <laughs> he works for Hammerhead. Where is this Hammerhead? Whoa, whoa. Can't we, like, go grab a coffee and catch up like normal people? By the way, I love your new hovercrafty thing. Tell me everything you know. I talk a lot better without a gun in my face. You have three seconds. Just put the guns down. One. We really gonna do this? Two, six, nine, eleven, eight, seven, three. <laughs> You seem a little stressed. Can we do some relaxing breaths? In, out, in, out. Tell me where to find Hammerhead. I wish I knew. But if we stop punching each other, maybe we can work together. Together? Never. What did I do wrong here? Wait, have you been listening to Jameson's podcast? You are supposed to be the protector of this city. And yet you have allowed this Hammerhead to steal all of my weapons and supplies. I didn't allow anything. I'm trying to stop him from stealing your stuff. Then you are failing! Badly! Oh, that hurts! Oh, you're not wrong! Who knows? Perhaps you are secretly working with him. Well, now I'm insulted! I do not know you! Obviously! And I do not trust you! You will stay out of my way or suffer the consequences! Stay out of your way while you do what? While I find and kill Hammerhead! Good luck with that! He doesn't die so easily! He has not met me! Damn you! What happened to you? I thought you were a good guy. I am good at what I do. But I am not a guy. Lost in translation, I guess? Ah! Happened to you can thank me by not dying.
Hey, MJ. So guess who's back in town? Silver Sable. I know. How did you know that? It's my job to know things. So I imagine she's here to stop Hammerhead from stealing all her shipments. Which is good. Maybe you guys can team up. Yeah, that doesn't feel very likely at this point. Listen, I'm gonna keep looking into the Simcaria story. It's... That conversation was going nowhere! Screwball? How did you... Quick! Head to Aethan and Perlman before me and my fans die of boredom! Uh, what is she up to this time? Better get there before she hurts someone. Party, huh? Sounds like the perfect opportunity to shut her down once and for all. Better keep playing along until that party. Really hope Screwball is at the party IRL. Oh no! She's rubbing off on me. I have to get her behind bars before I turn into someone I hate. Long time no see! I really need to shut this stream down. But first, bomb duty. Screwball's fans are out of control. One more. Sorry we got cut short earlier. Had to deal with Screwball again. You seem to have a lot of women in your life lately. And all of them challenging. Except for you, of course. Huh. You don't think I'm challenging? Um, no? Unless you want me to think you're challenging. In which case, you, uh, challenge me in all the right ways. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Okay, I'll keep looking into Hammerhead's plans, and I'll call you when I find something... challenging. In the meantime, I'll swing around the city and do some spidey stuff. All units, report a truck driver in distress. Financial distress. Could be Hammerhead's guys. Better check it out. Hey, Peter. 
Uh, just checking in. You busy? Sort of. How are your assignments coming? You mean school assignments or spider assignments? Both. But school comes first. I'm all caught up on school stuff, working on spider assignments now. But why are you making me do physics and calculus equations? Shouldn't I be practicing with web shooters and gadgets and stuff? Okay, quiz time. If a pendulum is 40 meters long and attached at a 45 degree angle, how far will the pendulum fall at its lowest point? 11.72 meters. But why does that matter? It matters a lot if you're the pendulum. What? Oh! Wait, so you do all these equations in your head like while you're swinging through the city? I have to. And so will you if you want to get good at it. Wow. I had no idea. All right. Guess I'll get back to it then. Open up. Or we'll open it for you! Leave me alone! Gotta get to that driver before they do. Stop people coming to help me! Hey guys, I think this might not be your car. Careful, I heard him call for backup. We're gonna need backup. my cardio in for the day. Let's Thanks, Spider-Man. That was a close one. We've got it from here, Spidey. This tech isn't going anywhere. Hey, MJ, what's up? Hammerhead guys are hitting an Oscorp shipping facility near Seaport. Got it. I'm headed there now. Question for you. We know Hammerhead stole most of the Sable weapons already, and a bunch of equipment from police lockup. Now he's stealing Sable tech that's bound for some Caria. Where is he putting all this stuff? No idea. But if we can find out where, we can cut off his supplies. I'll try to cross-reference his men's activity with the city map. See if I can't nail down a location. Good plan. Hey, so I've been reading up on the situation in Simcaria. There's a ruling dictator attacking his own people. Apparently Silver Sable's been working alone to arm the rebels and fight back, but she's losing. Sounds like she could really use the stuff Hammerhead is stealing from her. Explains why she's so angry. And desperate. Maybe, but I also think that angry is just her default emotion. I'll let you know what I find at the shipping facility. Okay, ready? to put these guys back behind bars for good. Oh, 
Oh, where does she find these guys? Oh, I think my fans heart you, Spidey. Get it off! Get your trigger fingers ready! It's almost time for a photo bomb! Never going back to Wonka! Lie. Feeling pretty good about myself right now. And the crowd goes wild! MVP! MVP! Folks, we need to talk more about this live streaming egomaniac screwball. It's bad enough her show features and glorifies that narcissistic webhead Spider Man, but her <laughs> shows if you can even call them that, are putting hard-working New Yorkers in harm's way just so she can gain followers. Whatever that means. Can't you see her ridiculous stunts are nothing more than a desperate ploy for attention? Come on, folks. You're smarter than that. By watching her shows, you're literally hurting yourselves. So, you ask, what should we do instead, Jonah? Here's an idea. Tune into my show instead. 
The only thing I'll hurt you with is the truth! Damn! That's a good look! Write that one down, Garrett! Let's use it in the next promo! Alrighty! Oh, where does she find these guys? I wish I'd done that well in school. And the crowd goes wild! MVP! MVP! Oh, you 
units. Officers are pursuing a truck with stolen... The viewers have voted, and they want to see more gadget combos! You know the drill, Spidey! Combine your gadgets and get creative! Looks like I gotta play along! can do better. Hey, don't leave! I just got here! I need to track down those bombs before they go off.
Okay, one more. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm in love. You are on the right track. OMG, you couldn't get much closer if you tried. Almost awesome. I should put that on a business card. Screwball is the ultimate narcissist. There's no way she'd miss her own party. Gotta find out where it is. Maybe one of her fans posted something about it. If only I knew someone who had time to scour a bunch of social media posts. Hello? Hey, hey Pete. I'm just checking in. Miles, are you... Did you just hear what I said? You said hello. Huh. Guess your timing is just weirdly perfect. Anyway, I got a mission for you. Like a spider mission? Oh man, let's do this! I need you to look through social media and find the location of Screwball's 50 millionth follower party. Oh, okay, sure. I'll call you as soon as I find something. While I wait for Miles, I can do some Spidey patrolling. Miles, what do you got? Check it out. Miles, that's great. Thanks so much. Do you want me to meet you there? Uh, just in case you need some backup? No, but don't worry. We'll get you out in the field soon enough. Cool. Okay, can't wait. Like, literally, waiting is really hard. <laughs> I know, Miles, I know. Talk soon. Okay, rooftop party near Church and Broom. I think the saddest thing about Screwball is that, in a way, she's a victim of her own fans. Most criminals have an end goal, but I don't think Screwball does. She's just a social media addict. As long as her fans keep giving her validation, she's going to keep doing more and more dangerous stunts. Which is why I need to stop her tonight. Okay, Screwball must be here somewhere. Unless she's faking me out again. This feels like a party she'd want to attend. Hey y'all! Hope you're having fun! Don't forget to tag me in your selfies! Screwball! Don't move! Come on! The world is watching! Just because people are watching, it doesn't mean you're any better of a person! Wow! Mood killer! Try to keep the banter light and fun, okay? Everybody's got drones these days. Here, catch! Get that! Follow 
followers don't care about you. Why do you care about them? I'm a role model. I have a responsibility to my people. No, you don't. You have a responsibility to do the right thing. To stop running and admit what you've been doing is wrong. Excuse me! What I've been doing is giving the world the greatest show they've ever seen! How is that wrong? Because you're hurting people. Hate to break it to you, SM, but you're the one who hurts people. I just run the cameras. I guess there's no point in trying to get through to you. You're just jealous that I have more followers than you now! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm not jealous. I'm angry at myself for letting it go on this long. Crash one drum. That's all of them. Finally, time to get close and finish this. Officially unfollowed. It turns out traditional media isn't dead quite yet. <laughs> Not that any of my listeners ever had a job. They're used to getting world-class content on a regular basis. But I'm, of course, talking about Screwball and her live-streaming band of bandits finally getting yanked off the air. Or the web. Whatever. The point is, we can all once again rest easy knowing we don't have to live in constant crippling fear of the awful sound of a so-called internet personality spewing nonsensical acronyms into the ethernet. Internet! Whatever! How is this for a meme, screwball? Goodbye! What do you mean that's not a meme? Of course it is, I just made it one. Spider-Man, take him out! Let me guess, all this stuff just fell off the back of a truck! A truck that you knocked over! You asked for it! I'm ready to the Welcome to the air show! that other truck. He's on the roof! Oh no, you saw me! Fine, you win this round. And your prize is a one-way ticket to Rikers. Okay, just two more.
kill someone! What the hell is that thing? A jet? Okay, just get us out of here! No, no, not the park! modernizing his workforce. Those drones are going after Sable. Uh, I should help her, right? Right. means thank you in Simkari. Okay, now on to that last truck. Hammerhead. If I talk, he'll kill me. So you do what you gotta do. Look, we both want the same thing. If we work together, we'll find him. Trust me. Right. We work together. Like partners. Yeah, partners. <laughs> so you'll call me? I am 77% sure she's not a robot.
That doesn't sound good. Better check it out. Hammerhead's crew have a Sable agent pinned down. Not exactly a fair fight. Let's even the odds a bit. Sleep it off. Good. Okay, now I'm just showing off. Hey, you have to teach me how you do all that. I wish I could say there was an art to it. Mostly I just try to go where the bullets aren't. Well, I am in your debt. What were these guys after? These are humanitarian supplies, bound for some carrier. You have heard of the civil unrest? I heard it was more of a civil war. Indeed. Well, these men attacked me and stole most of the supplies. Where they took them, I do not know. I'll keep an eye out and let you know if I find any. Nice to meet you, uh... David. David Obademi. <laughs> Spider. Spider-Man. Okay, that sounded way less awkward in my head. Hey, MJ. Peter, head to Soho. I have a lead I need you to check out. One of my jailhouse sources just told me that some of Hammerhead's guys are always at a certain pizza shop. Maybe you can trail them, find out where Hammerhead's supplies are. You know, just once I'd like to have a phone call where we talk to each other about our days. Like normal people. Okay. So, honey, how was your day? Well, uh, Sable and I caught some bad guys. Oh, so you are working together. New concept. You two have to find a way to work it out. Hammerhead's too powerful to take on alone. My jailhouse source also said that Hammerhead's using this Project Olympus stuff to, quote, improve himself even further. Further? He was already a walking tank. Exactly my point. If you two don't stop him soon, he might become unstoppable. Sorry, Miles. So, you went snooping through my bag and found some web shooters. It was open, and I could see them, sort of. And I, uh, I just noticed that the nozzle size and shape is the same as your other ones. Yeah, so? Well, according to Luke's law, elastic forces linear with distance given all factors are equal. But you and I aren't equal. Wow, you're right. Just a few pounds can affect tensile strength, rate of web fluid consumption. And a few other things. But I've done all the calculations. If we just tighten the nozzle diameter by 0.7 millimeters, it all pretty much evens out. I think I've officially underestimated you. It's a good thing, right? Seems like you're more than ready for field training. As soon as I'm done dealing with Hammerhead. Yes! Can I start practicing with the web shooters in the meantime? Nope. And if I find out you even left the house, I'll call it off. Man, you're like the most and least fun superhero ever. Ah. Uh. Too many people around. I'm not gonna be able to get close looking like this. Maybe if I ditch the suit. There. Now I'm just your average New Yorker. Hey, I think that's the place that got a three-star review in the Bugle last week. No wonder it's crowded. That mine or yours? Mine. Yeah, what's up? Okay, tell them we're on our way. Hey, come on. We gotta run an errand for Tony. Now? We're almost to the front of the line. I know, I know. Just come on. Need to run an errand for Tony? Those have to be Hammerhead's men. Better follow him. But not too close. So what do we gotta do for Tony? Get his laptop. Guess he left it in his car. You serious? Or can't he get his own damn laptop? Boss probably has him doing something more important. Somebody following us. Be cool, Pete. Be cool. Hmm. <laughs> Guess not. Where is the boss anyway? I don't know. Tony probably does though. He's tight with the boss. Damn freaking Tony. Man, I should be the one who's tight with the boss. Okay, sure. Hey, that kid look familiar to you? Oh look, someone posted a cat video. Better watch that right now. Yeah, all these kids look the same. 
He's also the one who helped the boss come up with that trap for the Sable chip. Yeah, like that's ever gonna work. I don't know. Sounds like a good plan to me. And if we get her, we get the rest of her stuff, so... So now you're on Tony's side? I see how it is. Listen, I'm gonna go talk to Sal. Keep people off the lot for a minute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, frickin' Tony. Gotta get closer to hear what they're saying. If I can't get next to them, maybe I can get above them. Need to get out of sight. Might be climbing walls until I'm hidden. Uh, I have kids to feed. No one can see me. Now I can climb up to the rooftop. If I get above those guys, I can hear them. Gotta get to that alleyway. <laughs> Swear on my mother's grave. Guy thinks he's next in line. Ha! <laughs> next in line to shine my shoes, maybe. Ain't that the truth. Anyways, Tony said he needs his laptop. Guess it's got all kinds of important stuff on it. As laptops do. We put it up in C3. Slot C3, huh? If I can get Tony's laptop, it could lead me to Hammerhead. Thanks. Oh, wait. <laughs> Stimulating conversation, guys, but I've heard enough. Spider-Man! Take him out! Get better! Bring it down! Let's kick it up a notch! Like fish in a barrel. I'm gonna end this. Okay, now where's that laptop? That's not it. Nope, not this one. Hmm, nope. Sal said C3. Well, hello there, Tony's laptop. Let's see if I can hack into it. Bada bing. Looks like he's got a Find My Phone app installed. Let's see where you are, Tony. Hey, Pete. Hi, honey. How's your day? <laughs> Busy. Nick deep in research on some car, yeah. I'll make it quick, then. Your tip was a good one. I'm on my way to one of Hammerhead's top men. If anybody knows where Hammerhead is, it's him. That's great. And one of his guys mentioned setting a trap for Sable. What do you think that means? I think it means a bunch of old school Magia thugs feel threatened by a confident, powerful woman. Uh, right. Sorry, Pete. I don't want to blow you off, but I'm on a deadline, so... Yeah, totally. Talk later. No, I don't know when she's coming. You just gotta be ready. There's Tony. I don't think that's enough, guys. Double it up. They take him out of the bases. Why are you making me do this? I dare want you to pound your faces! Incoming! Okay, now I'm just showing off. Hey, Spider-Man. You see that Sable chick, you tell her, my boss wants to have a sit down. Yeah, I could. But she doesn't really listen to me. Or anyone. Give me the address. Wait, where, how did, the address! Uh, Colexco building, rooftop. <laughs> No, wait, it's probably an ambush! Oh. 
Sable, you're headed into a trap! It does not matter, as long as Hammerhead is there. You don't get it! I'm trying to keep you from getting hurt! I can take care of myself. Usually you can, but Hammerhead's been using your Project Olympus stuff. I know. Then you know he's turned himself into some kind of giant Franken-monster! And that is why I must stop him. But not like this! Not by going right into a trap! Ah, oh, Sable, what are you doing? A trap! If only we had some kind of advanced warning! Ugh! I can handle this! I'm sorta of tempted to sit back and watch, but that would just be petty. Now how do I get trapped her with her own tech? Looks like the whole thing is powered by those generators. One down! You doing okay in there, Sable? Or is it silver? Or is it something else? What are your friends calling you? Wait, you don't have any friends, do you? I bet you're proud of that for some reason. while I work on the other ones. <laughs> Get it? Hang tight? <laughs> you know, talking about your feelings has been scientifically proven to reduce stress and improve mood. It's just saying, you'd be doing us all a favor.
Thank you. You're alive. Did you honestly think I was dead? Uh, uh, how, how did you find me? Same way she did. Watch out. That girl has trust issues. How long have you been watching me? Watching us? Long enough to know you're making a mistake. Hammerhead's gotten too powerful. Do you really think I have a choice? Here. Wait, is that... Everything you need to know about that ugly thing. Sorry for what I did to you. But now we're even. One more thing. His head not as strong as you think it is. Bye, Felicia. Let's see what's on this thing. Keeping Sable in that base. I bet they have those stolen humanitarian supplies in those other bases. I should call David about this. Hello. Hi, David. It's Spider-Man. I think I may have found those humanitarian supplies bound for Simcaria. Great. Can you send me the locations? Well, there's just one wrinkle. 
They're in heavily fortified bases guarded by bionic madmen with futuristic weapons and impenetrable armor. That is quite a wrinkle. Why don't I scope out their hideouts first and get back to you? Thank you, Spider-Man. I greatly appreciate all your help. Time to check in with MJ. Peter, are you okay? I saw people posting pictures of you and Hammerhead and Sable and... And Black Cat. Normally she brings bad luck, but not this time. I knew she was still alive. What was she doing there? Saving my skin. And giving me a lead on Hammerhead's hideouts. Turns out he's been stashing all of the stolen Sable tech underground. What? How? I'm on my way to find out, and hopefully rescue Sable, if she's still alive. Listen, I've been digging into this Simcaria thing. It's a big story, something I feel like I need to be a part of. My boss agrees. Wait, you're going to Simcaria? When? Tonight. It's a rapidly developing situation. You and Sable can take care of Hammerhead. You don't need me. Just because I don't need you doesn't mean I don't need you. That's sweet. But listen, other countries are ignoring this crisis, including ours. These people are helpless, all alone in the middle of a war zone. If I document what's happening and share it with the rest of the world, it might change things. Maybe even save lives. Spoken like a true hero. But the thought of you heading into a war zone, it worries me. Do you trust me? You know I do. Then we're good. I gotta go home and pack. I'll call you tomorrow when I get there. I love you. I love you too. Ah, <sighs> miss her already. The entrance to his hideout must be somewhere close by. That's my way in. Hi, David. I'm at one of the hideouts. I'm surprised Sable had you working alone on this. I resigned from Sable International in order to ensure the supplies made it to some carrier. Guess she's a true mercenary at heart. Even choosing weapons over aid for her own people. Sable is more than a mercenary. Trust me. Anyway, let me know if you find those supplies. And thank you. us down one by one. Hey, nobody's taking us down. We got better armor, better guns, except for you, we got better brains. Let them come if they want. They want to die over a pile of humanitarian aid? That's just fine by me. Now you mention it.
See that coming. It's the spider again! Come on, guys. Just hand over the humanitarian aid and nobody gets a foot sandwich. Bring it down! Time to go. Hey, David! Got a question! What is that noise? Are oh, you fighting right now? Oh yeah! I'll try to keep it down. I was just wondering, how much do you know about Sable's home country, Simcaria? Well, the Simcarian government has been consolidating power for over a decade. They are now effectively a dictatorship. The opposition party, led by the Sablinova family, was either exiled or executed. Simcaria has been in civil war ever since. Meanwhile, the civilians are caught in the field with no way to escape and no way to go if they do. So Sable might have lost some of her family in the conflict. The conflict in Simcaria is more personal to her than she would ever let on. Seriously guys, no more calling for backup! My toes are sore from all the face kicking! Gadgets and mend our costumes, please. You asked for it, and we're done.
Done and done. Now, where are those supplies for David? There they are. Hi, David. I recovered some of your supplies. Sending you the location now. Thank you, Spider-Man. I will get there as fast as I can. Great. And if it helps, I have a couple police contacts. I can ask them to help you out if... Oh, no, no, no. That will not be necessary. I have it under control. Thank you again. Huh. Alrighty. No, Jared! I said I wanted... Rush guys, not putting him alive. No. Oh. <laughs> Listeners, rush heads, stop me if you heard this one before. Spider-Man just chased a bunch of thugs through the streets, putting citizens in danger, and leaving millions in property damage in his way. This time, he had a little help from a certain silver-haired vigilante who turned the financial district into her own personal shooting gallery with a flying death machine. But that's not the worst of it, folks. Oh, no. What could be worse, you ask? The traffic! The gridlock! It was so bad that yours truly missed a very important dental appointment. Now I have to wait six months for the next opening. How many other people missed dental appointments because of this? Dozens? Hundreds? Thousands? Which, of course, leads us to the obvious conclusion. Spider-Man causes tooth decay! The entrance to his hideout must be somewhere close. There's the entrance. Clever. Turn this way. <laughs> Hi, David. Just found another Hammerhead hideout. Please, be careful. I will. So, what happens when we get all the caches? Put some stamps on them and celebrate at Eddie's Pizza? <laughs> Eddie's, yes. I will miss that place. He's not going out of business, is he? Please tell me he's not. <laughs> no, no. It's just... It's nothing. And do not worry about shipping. I will take care of it when the time comes.
Something's Yo, over there. Up and you can watch my post. I gotta take a whiz. Parada, you there? Someone go check on him. Dreams. Something's over there. Okay. Lady Knight. How the hell did he find us? Do you guys live underground now? What's a red like? Asking for a friend. Welcome to the I'm air show. Oh, sure. You know, the usual. But I'm glad you called. How did you end up working for Sable International anyway? I guess you could say the job found me. Go on. No, seriously. Hammerhead's guys aren't great conversationalists. Back home, I was in math teacher. I wanted to open my students' eyes to the possibilities beyond our village. Even when the rebel uprising began, and people started leaving the village, my students still came to school. And yet, if I had known what was to come, maybe I would have acted differently. It happened in the morning, right as school began. There were nine of them, all with automatic rifles. They asked for names, but I would not give any. Their patience wore out. They raised their rifles to shoot me. And that's when she came in. Who? Silver Sable. She took out the whole group. She saved me. And the children. And that is why I owe her my life. Oh. You're a heartless mercenary. She's sometimes almost likable. Sometimes. That's it! He ain't getting out of here alive! You sound angry! Must be the lack of sunlight!
Those humanitarian supplies should be around here somewhere. Time to find that stash of humanitarian aid. Humanitarian supplies should be around. There are the supplies. Okay, David. Found a bunch more supplies here. I'll send you the location. You are doing a great thing. Each supply cache could save hundreds of some carrion lives. Why Simcaria, if you don't mind me asking? I merely wish to help the children of Simcaria, as I once failed to help those who relied on me most. Thank you again for finding those supplies. I will come by to get them soon. Hmm. Huh. Sounds like David's carrying around a little guilt. Like most of us, I guess. Reports are flying in about an incident in Midtown involving... You guessed it. Spider-Man. It's the same old story. Same old menace. But here's a terrifying little thing. My sources tell me that the Magia of Crime Boss Hammerhead is now gone, and I quote... Full stifle. First we have robotic octopuses, and now a mixed up magia? Ugh. Whatever happened to the good old days when criminals would just put on a dime store mask, stick their finger in their pocket, and try to rob a bank? All right! Spider-Man happened! The entrance to his hideout must be somewhere close by. Huh, must be underground. Guess it's time for some urban spelunking. I think I found the last hideout. Great work. So, I was thinking, maybe we should store the caches at a local police precinct, just for safekeeping. I would prefer to safeguard them myself. I get the sense you're not telling me something. <sighs> I had a work visa with Sable International. It became invalid when I quit. Even an ID check right now could mean immediate deportation. I merely wish to finish this one task, and then I will go. Maybe I could help you with the whole immigration thing. Do not worry for me. This was my choice, and I have no regrets. Thing? Are you even kidding? I'm saying, 
Maybe we should partner with her instead of trying to take over her operation, you know? Oh. No better than the books. I didn't say that. Why are you putting words in my mouth? What the? Better investigate. underground hideout, but keep an eye on your vitamin D levels. Hi, MJ. Can I ask a huge favor? Sure, what's up? Remember that story you did on the shortage of teachers in the city? Well, I know someone who might be a good fit. If we had a visa. I think some of the students are offering H1Bs based on credentials. Send me his info and I'll call around. I just had to follow the stench. I thought the street above us smelled bad. Woo! Okay, now I'm just showing off. Guys, Sheesh. you know, if you guys 
all came out at once, you'd have a better chance of... Wait, better not give him any ideas. You ask for it, Like fish in a barrel. Looks like I cleared the place out. Whew. Now to find the supply cache for David. <laughs> this must be the cache of humanitarian aid. David, the final supply caches are secure. Thank you. I will take them all to the Simkarian Embassy and make sure the aid is delivered. Let me know if there is anything else I can do to help. I will. And thank you once more, Spider-Man. Guess that's it. Hope MJ can pull some strings for him. Hey, David. What's up? Spider-Man, I have the supply caches and I'm on my way to the Embassy. I think I am being followed. Where are you? I am not sure. I am... David! David! Hold on! I'm on my way! Hammerhead's men knew David would be alone... and vulnerable. I should have seen this coming. Hang in there, David. There's David. He's in trouble. I've gotta move. Use a little help.
there! You still good? Yes, I am good! <sighs> You okay? Think so. Thank God for this sable armor. So what's next? Deliver the caches to the Simkarian embassy. Thanks to you, the Simkarians will finally get the aid they need. Just happy I could help. <laughs> but I meant what's next for you? Well, a few minutes ago I received a call from a school in Midtown. They offered me a visa if I accepted a teaching position. I don't suppose you had something to do with that. Good things happen to good people. I can't thank you enough. I will try every day to help my students achieve their dreams, as you have helped me achieve mine. Actually, I should be the one thanking you. For what? For reminding me why I'll always love this city. Is it me, or is the world a little brighter right now? I'm just gonna bask in this good feeling for at least the next few seconds. Or until something else. This bad happens. I bet David's gonna be one of those cool teachers whose classes are packed. The entrance to his hideout must be somewhere close by. This is it, folks. This is... The underground. Guess it's time for some urban spelunking. <laughs> Ugh, that's a new smell. Yuck. Hope I find Sable before the fumes overwhelm her. If I can get through this without getting wet, that'd be a win. Hello! This is so cool. Whoa, look at this place. The amount of work it takes to make this city run is just crazy. I'll never take fresh water for granted again. Okay, let's see where this leads. Looks like some loose bricks up ahead. Nice. Okay, onward. Hammerheads, guys. They've taken over an abandoned subway platform. Gotta take these guys out, then look around for Sable. Hey, you wanna know what I've been thinking? Not really. I was thinking, we need an answer. I'm just not sure how many more of these things we can fix out here. serious right now? Yeah, boss promised us a cut. Let's see it in writing. <laughs> stop it, just stop it. Oh man, nothing, nothing. I'm a hero. Yeah, I guess. We're all heroes, just in different ways. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, let me look at this some more, see if I can figure something. Why do you keep asking me that? Because it doesn't look like you know what you're doing. I'm assessing the situation. You've been assessing for like the last 10 minutes. This is delicate of Okay? One more move, and this whole generator's fried. Boss would be mighty upset if that happened. Exactly. Which is why I'm being careful and assessing. 
Got it? The boss would also be upset if somebody said they knew how to fix something. Okay, I didn't imagine that. That's all of them. Now, I bet if I follow the power cables, I'll find where they're holding Sable. Hope that's not a load-bearing subway car. Follow the yellow wire. Better not find any lo- Ah, tunnel's blocked. But I think I can still squeeze through. inside the thing, like the other guys. Who was it? Don't remember his name. Sal's cousin, I think. Was it messy? Nah, he just came out all blue. I think he stopped breathing in there. So... Did you hook up the oxygen line like I said? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think... gonna like hearing. I think so. Do this quick, and then find Sable. I'm snoring now. This place looks like their main base of operations. Sable jetpacks. I'd pay good money to see Hammerhead's guys learning to fly in these things for the first time. Almost indestructible. After all, you're still human. Then make me less human. I'm... I'm not sure what you mean. I mean what I said. Now get to work. And we're done. All this stuff belongs to Sable? Yeah, most of it's overseas, though. What are you thinking, boss? I'm thinking about how she took over the whole city in a matter of days. You mean back during that Devil's Breath thing? Yeah, that was crazy. Not so crazy when you got the right equipment. Well, we got those digging things. Not good enough. If we want the best stuff, we're gonna need her. 
Yeah, okay. How are we gonna do that? Just keep taking her stuff. She'll come to us. Project Olympus. These pods require a lot of electricity. Must be why they're leeching off the subway. I told you, I just helped manufacture these things. I didn't design them. Guess we got the wrong guy then. On the bright side, now we got our first test subject. No! No! Don't! Don't turn it on! Please! Just give me a few minutes. I can figure it out. Now that's what I like to hear. XRT-89. Subterranean Troop Deployment Vehicle. That's the real name? <laughs> I'm sticking with Dig Boy. Wow. If Hammerhead gets his hands on this thing, we're in serious trouble. Sable. Sounds like she's close. There! The only way out is through. High voltage wires and sewer water. What could possibly go wrong? If there's one takeaway from this underground lair thing, it's that Hammerhead should have fewer thugs with guns and a lot more safety inspectors. I need you. I work alone. I used to say the same thing. I know what's happening in Simkaria. I know why this means so much to you. You think you know, but you do not know. What can I do to make you trust me? Look, I think I know how we can take down that monster, but I can't do it alone. Damn it! He let her loose! Here's the plan. Good plan. Kinda nice to have you. 
on my side for once. Shut up and fight. You gotta work on your fight banter, though. Okay? That was awesome! High five! You said you could defeat Hammerhead. You, uh, know you left me hanging, right? Medical records in here. Yeah, mostly about that metal plate in his head. Carbon steel. Super strong, pretty sensitive to... Heat. I have an idea. I, uh, solemnly swear to, uh, do whatever you tell me to. I will call soon. Yeah. Guess I'll do some spidey work while I wait for Sable's call. Hey, what's that? What's with all the yellow stuff? Huh. Is this some weird street artist thing? A police report. Looks like someone was killed during a mugging, but nothing was stolen. Hmm. What's with the audio recorder? So, you have some work-related stress. Well, you came to the right place. That's my specialty. So they tell me. Give me some more specifics about how you're feeling. Guess you could say I put a lot of pressure on myself. I like to be the best. Plus, I have a very demanding boss. Then what kind of work do you do? Everything here stays confidential, right? Of course. Good. Because if any of this gets out, you're a dead man. The case file says one of nine. There must be more of these out in the city. There's a bunch of GPS coordinates here. I love treasure hunts, but something tells me I'm not gonna find a chest full of gold at any of these places. I think I'm close to another crime scene. Hey, Peter. Just letting you know I haven't left the house. Glad to hear it. What's up? I've been listening to the police radio, and there's stuff happening all over the city. Like, constantly. Pretty overwhelming, isn't it? How do you do it? I mean, you can't be everywhere at once. Remember what May used to say. You help someone, you help everyone. Yeah. But I never really understood what she meant. Okay. You know that lady that came in to feast the other day with her two kids? The one who just got evicted? Yeah. After she found a job and was about to move into her new place, she told me, as soon as I get my first paycheck, I'm sending as much as I can back to the shelter. So we helped her, and now she wants to help others. 
Helping is like a force multiplier. Exactly. May was pretty great, wasn't she? The greatest. I'm gonna send you an address as soon as I'm done with all this, so stay ready. And bring those web shooters with you. Finally! This looks familiar. I think it's the last known location of a Magia informant who disappeared a few months ago. I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. I think we should end the session. Sorry, Doc. I didn't mean to scare you. I've just been paranoid lately. Like I said, stressful job. Okay. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about your job. Describe a typical day. Hmm. Typical day? I guess it starts with waking up, checking my phone, see who the boss wants me to hit that day. Then I go grab breakfast. I've been trying to do that keto thing, you know? Then I do the hits. Sometimes it's messy, so I gotta head home and clean up. I try to get to the gym in the afternoon, then dinner, and I... Sorry, um... Can you go back for a moment? What does... do a hit mean exactly? It means I kill who my boss tells me to. I'm pretty good at it by now. Get quite the resume. <laughs> this guy sounds like a Magia Enforcer. Feels like this is just part of the story. I should keep an eye out for more scenes like this. Should be close. Whoever's setting up these scenes really likes the color yellow. Let's hear what the recorder has to say. So, what do you think, Doc? Well, clinically, you're a sociopath. You have no remorse for your actions. You clearly are not stressed. I doubt you think there's actually anything wrong with you. So, why did you really come see me today? <laughs> You're smart. I like that. Okay, let's get right to it then. You do what I tell you, and I won't kill your family. Whoa. You want to get right to it? Okay then. I know why you're really here. I knew who you were the minute you walked in that door. And I also know that before I do anything for you, you're gonna do something for me. Well, that took a turn. These crime scenes all feel like covers for Magia hits. And if the guy on the tape is a Magia enforcer, maybe he's the one who killed all these people. I am ready. Meet me at my base. I've been meaning to ask. How exactly do you have a base in the city that I don't know about? Right, the talk. Why is she always hanging up on me? Maybe she didn't hang up on purpose. She probably just got disconnected. She could be waiting for me to call her back. Or she could be running out of minutes on her cell phone plan. I mean, she's probably doing international roaming. That stuff is expensive. Or maybe she just really needed to polish her pistols. Let's apply Occam's razor. The simplest and most obvious solution is... She hates me. Ugh. Logic takes the fun out of everything. Lots of police tape and equipment at these scenes. Whoever's doing this must have access to this stuff. Whoever left these wanted me to look closer at these accidents. Someone fell to their death from this ledge. It was ruled an accident, but was it? On the last recording, the therapist turned the tables on the Magia guy. Welcome back. Have a seat. So, did you bring the, um... Yeah. Hope this takes care of your cash flow problem. Right. It most certainly does. Thank you. So, I assume you came to me because I have a few police officers as clients. You assume correct. But my boss and I are only interested in one of them. And who might that be? Captain Yuri Watanabe. Yuri? 
How is she mixed up in this? I'm afraid of where this story is going. I have to keep following it. It's gotta be somewhere nearby. Another setup for me. Another file and recorder. Police ruled this a suicide, but Yuri had her doubts. The victim was part of Hammerhead's crime family. In the last recording, they talked about getting Yuri's mental health records. Here's Captain Watanabe's file. Hmm. This everything? Yes. You ever record her sessions? No, I never record any sessions. That'd be unethical and illegal. Well, we'd like you to record her next session. And my boss has a list of questions he'd like you to ask. Is that gonna be a problem for you? No, no, no problem. I feel like I shouldn't be listening to these, and yet I can't stop. Seems that whoever left these wasn't satisfied with what the police concluded. Getting closer. I hope whoever's leaving these has a good reason. There's a report and recorder. I remember Yuri telling me about a drowning here. She was suspicious because the victim was a competitive swimmer. All of these reports are from the last year or so. But last month, Yuri assigned herself to all of these cases. Was Yuri the one who left all those recordings? Okay, Yuri, let's move on. Have your obsessive thoughts about the suspect continued? Yes. Sometimes I feel like I've almost got him. And sometimes I feel like I'll never get him. Are you doing your breathing exercises? Trying to. But... I know who he is. I know where he is. And I know what he's done. But I can't do anything. Not without legally admissible evidence. That must be frustrating. You have no idea. Seems like Yuri's hunch is that the guy on the tape is the guy that killed all these people. I think she might be right. I think I'm close. And there's the trademark yellow. The recorder must be around here somewhere. There's another police report. There was a hit and run here recently. The victim was set to testify against one of Hammerhead's men. But of course, police never found a suspect. On the last one, Yuri sounded frustrated. Can you say hi to my kid? No idea. That's it? Yes. I mean, we talked a little bit about her medication, but when is the next session? Why? What are you going to do? I'm gonna do whatever my boss does, Megado. Oh no. Are they setting up a hit on Yuri? Gotta get to those other locations. I think I'm getting close. It has to be Yuri who's leaving all this stuff! Another report and recorder. I almost don't want to listen. I remember this. A person got electrocuted accidentally, but the victim had ties to Hammerhead. Yuri tried, but couldn't find evidence of foul play. These case files are getting more and more recent. This one happened just a few weeks ago. You seem nervous. Yeah, well, the chief knew I was working undercover with you. I can't afford to lose my job. Maybe I should be the one doing breathing exercises. Well, isn't that interesting? Don't worry. I won't tell if you don't. Also, 
You're doing great. You're a very authentic looking doctor. Thanks. I think. You think he knows you were wearing a wire? If he does, he's a hell of a good liar. He's a Magia enforcer. We know he's a good liar. Question is, does he know he's being lied to? We'll find out tomorrow, I guess. You sure about all this? We catch him in the act of trying to murder a police officer, he gets put away for life. Yuri, what are you doing? I have to find her. I think I'm close to the last crime scene location. Yuri's been here. Now where's the file? I remember Yuri saying this was ruled an accidental death. Food poisoning, I think. Hey, Captain. You ready for this? Ready as I'll ever be. I'm all wired up on my way to the office. Just picking up a coffee first. Okay. Drinks are in me when this is done. <laughs> Looking forward to it, Captain. Yuri's suspended, but she still won't give up. Hard not to respect that. Hi. Can I just get a large coffee? Hey there, Don. Who's that you were just talking to? Oh. Hey. No. Oh, why did I listen to that? Call from an unknown number. Hello? Hello, old friend. Yuri? Meet me at the corner of Madison and 23rd. We need to talk. Wait, wait, Yuri! Ah, she's gone. With all that's happened to Yuri, she must be beyond hurting. She doesn't do anything without a reason. So why did she lead me on a grisly crime scene tour? She must have a lead on this enforcer guy. It'll be nice to see her. Maybe help her deal with whatever she's dealing with. Wait, what? Yuri, what did you do? That's the Magia Enforcer. Dead. And the case files from all his victims. This guy killed all these people. But does that mean he deserved to die? Yuri! I know what you're gonna say, but just hear me out. The system works most of the time. But there are times when it doesn't. And to me, that's unacceptable. Some people put their trust in fate, or karma, or whatever. But I can only trust me. You can't kill people, Yuri. Apparently I can. And you know what? It felt good. You need to turn yourself in. For what? I just dispensed justice. True justice. And I restored a little bit of balance to the world. You're my friend, Yuri. I don't want to come after you. You do what you have to do, and I'll do what I have to do. Goodbye, Spider-Man. Yuri! What am I gonna do? This all makes sense now. What Yuri did to Hammerhead. She's been struggling with this for a while. She's always held in her emotions. That must take a toll on her. But she's also the most tenacious and stubborn person I know. This was a bad guy for sure, but killing him? That's too much. work. So where's this base you talked about? Whoa. Your toys are so much cooler than mine.
love this invisible floating fortress thing. But now that all of New York City has seen it, Hammerhead will probably be here soon. I am counting on it. So let us work quickly. I have acquired the Class 5 laser array. We need to calibrate it to prevent it from overheating. Lucky for us, I'm working on my masters in calibration. Let's do this. Okay, what's first? Pull the housing array into place. On it. Huh. Whoa, nice laser. Housing locked. Done and done. We are not done. Oh. We must reset the targeting field aerials. Sure thing. I have no idea what you're talking about. Exit the hangar and navigate to the top of the nearby transmitters. Alrighty. So, we should talk about the strategy with Hammerhead, don't you think? What is there to talk about? We find him. Then focus the laser on the plate in his head. The laser will heat the carbon steel to critical temperature, which will rearrange its molecular structure. And soften it so I can knock him unconscious. I get that part, but how do you know it won't, uh, melt his brain? When the wolf attacks the sheep, he risks getting shot by the shepherd. Okay, well, Shepard, just remember my no-killing rule, okay? Done. How's it look? Systems appear functional. Now we must test the targeting and power levels. Cool. Wait, this doesn't involve shooting me, does it? Not yet. But I do need you to launch those targets. Right. Okay, ready? Ready. Bombs away! Hit it! Boom! Just a few more. Cool with me, this is fun! Here comes another one! Nice shot! This is how modern military is shooting? Oh, oh! Can you do one more, please? You are a child. Yeah, well, we're all children on the inside. thing to do. On my way. We must adjust the gyroscopic navigation stabilizer in order to compensate for the weight of the laser. Go to that terminal and wait for me to activate the system. System ready. I'm going in. Okay, that should do it. You two teaming up now? Phew. But it ain't gonna do no good. Uh, Sable? Use a little help here! The laser is down. Can you fix it? I am trying. Okay, I'll just do the hammerhead waltz for a bit. Time to get personal! Eat this! I just wanna thank you for showing me what I've been doing wrong for years! If I want to rule this city, I gotta modernize! Evolve! Now that I'm involved, it's time for me to be the That's boss it. I always should have been! Just as soon as I kill you both! Can't let him hit me! Say goodnight! Almost there. Sable, what's your status? Laser is back online. Now I can get in close. This is a fight you ain't gonna win! <laughs> You're going down! Look at me! You can't kill me! Let's see it done! This.
pardon me! Ha! Nothing hurts me no more! I'll break your organ jaw! He's quick! I gotta be quicker! One to quit. Commencing bombing run. Damn, I missed. Keep them coming. I'll make sure the next one hits. I dropped the bomb. You throw them at him. More bombs coming in. Do not let him hit you. Yeah, try it. Love your tech, Sable! Too bad I gotta use it to take you out! Let's kick it up a notch! Coming in! Get ready! Never. Uh. Uh. Now hit him! Uh. Uh. Yeah. 
was fun. Hey, you have dinner plans? I know this great pizza place. I must return to Simcaria. Right. You have a war to fight. I do not like to fight. I do what I have to in order to help my people. I know. That's what heroes do. I am no hero. But you have taught me a few things. Oh yeah? Like what? Like how to disarm my enemies with bad jokes? Actually, they're good jokes, but I understand humor can be subjective. Thank you, Spider-Man. For everything. I don't do hugs. Yeah, right. Of course. Uh, hey, can I get a lift back to the city? I I'd swim, but it'd take forever to get the river smell out of my suit. Ready? Uh, I think the web shooters are a little tight. You get used to it. Just try to keep up. Okay, Hammerhead's finished, but his men are still out there. A spider's work is never done. It's a fine day in New York City. At long last, Hammerhead has been taken down for good. Cyborg parts and all. I will even give Spider-Man and Silver Sable an ounce of credit. They did, after all, land the final blow. However, while the mainstream media trips over itself to keep lavish praise on these vigilantes, allow me to give you a dose of facts. Hammerhead would have never gotten this far had it not been for Silver Sable leaving behind all her gear in the city. And don't get me started on Spider-Man stoking the fires of a gang war and forcing a decorated police captain into administrative leave. So sure, they cleaned up the mess, but they were also the ones that made it. 